Hi there, I'm Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be a lot of fun if we went through my planner bag, my travel bag, my planner essential bag. This is the bag that I use if I want to go on a trip. Also, I do have an area in my house where I could have a planner desk and some planner supplies, but it's kind of small. So because I have to set up my filming station every time I want to film a video, it's also my plan with me bag so that I could have all the tools that I need. So I thought it'd be fun to go through this today. Now, this is a bag that is not new to the planner community. I've seen a lot of girls use it. It is an Orla Kylie cosmetic bag that you could get at Target. But I have to be honest, this print will not be available. I got this many years ago, actually, before I even got heavily into planner decorating. Um, but she does change up her prints, and you could probably find this bag in your local Target, at least this style. Um, I think cosmetic bags are really great for organizing your planner supplies, so I'm just going to show you what's in mine. So I'm going to start with the very top section here. And in here we have a zipper pouch. I went ahead and I put an extra TN charm that I wasn't using. Um, I thought it looked cute. It's by the shop Kelly Eva Designs. And in here I have a lot of tools that I use, especially during plan with me's. Um, I do have some precision scissors, these really cute little cranes. I also have, oh, left something in there. I also have a metal ruler, which I like to use when I am working with an X-Acto knife to cut alongside. So I do have an X-Acto knife right here, as well as this style, which is convenient. It's like a little travel X-Acto knife. See that there? So I also have my bone folder for making inserts. I have an eraser if I need it. And then I have two tweezers I like using tweezers when working with smaller stickers to make sure that I get them placed down nice and straight. So that's what's in the first little pocket. Now this next section, I have some Ollie Clips by Ollie Block on Etsy Clips Down. And then in here, I just put down basically one of every basic pen that I would need for different types of paper and stickers. So there's like, you know, for glossy and matte uh, sticker paper. So I have like this Sharpie, Ultra Fine Point, the Pilot Friction Erasables. I have the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel, the Stedler Tripless Fine Liner. There's a Pilot G2, which is actually a mechanical pencil. The Uniball Signo here from Breast Cancer Awareness last year. I have a Pen Gems that I had not changed the ink. Sometimes I like a good old ballpoint pen there. I have the majority of my like artist pins in a different bag, but I do have one Faber Castell Pit artist pin here. I also have a Jelly Roll white pin there. And then also I do like to take out this bag and take pictures of my planners, and so sometimes I like to have cute pins for Instagram. Here's kind of a kawaii cat. It's also really nice to write with. It has a super, super fine point gel pin nib there, and then this is just a really pretty pale pink twist out ballpoint with a big diamond on the top and behind all the pins I have an extra sharp pair of scissors that I could use. So that is everything in the top section. So now let's go ahead and open up the middle or the main compartment and in here I have this Hello Kitty tin and I put all my favorite mild liner colors or the ones I want to go for uh, most often. It's basically the whole pastel pack and then a couple extras. I think I added in like the purple, the gray, and maybe the blue? Or maybe it was the green? I don't know. But <laughs> these are the ones I like to go to the most often. Um, and then I have some undo which is great for removing stickers and I'm getting a little low there so I need to re 
up on that. If I'm working with inserts for a ring bound planner, I love having a hole punch, so keep that handy in my bag as well. I have an adhesive roller. I also like to keep an Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength glue stick. These are the two ways I like to put down ephemera or scrapbooking paper. I also have some whiteout, so this is by the Tombow. It's the Mono Grip Correction Tape. I have this ring of washi. I like to just change it out when I feel like it, so this is very convenient. It just kind of pops open there. I like to keep a couple rolls that I'm uh, in the mood for, and I'm liking these a lot. These are all by Simply Gilded. Um, they all have like some kind of foil on it. We have these really pretty swans with some rose gold, or actually, I'm sorry, gold. We have the traditional pale pink with gold. We have the foxes with some rose gold on their lashes and tail. And then we have this fun um, that says gorgeous beauty doll. There's lashes, lips, lipstick, makeup, all that fun stuff. I think a good old washi tape will decorate any page in your planner, so it's fun to have some of those around. I have a simple date punch with a really pretty color called Sea Breeze. It's a Versa Magic Dew Drop ink pad. Change the color out from time to time. Um, and then in this back, we have this like back little elastic pouch here, which is kind of neat. And here I have a couple cards that I like to use to cut washi, or I could use to draw a straight line, or even a box trace around it. I have a couple packs of Page flags from the Target Dollar Spot in really cute prints. I also have some sticky notes, traditional size. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And this one's really convenient for pre-planning on the go or making a habit tracker. It's a Monday to Sunday I got from Scribble Prints Co. And then if I am wanting a little bit more um, playing looking sticky notes or for color coding, I have this. We have the basic page flag size and then we have about half size, which is good for making notes in your planner there. In this old Vera Bradley bag, I have a ton of paper clips. We have this little section in the back that has some clips that I made myself, some little decorative ones I like to use when taking photos or just decorating, accessorizing my planner. So those will change out depending on what I'm doing for the week. I also have this pretty little ch uh, tea and charm. This one I did not make. This is by the Planner Society. Um, I also have some Erin Condren goodies like a coil clip and an Erin Condren pen holder there. I have some magnetic clips as well as some cute little shaped ones, some deer antlers and a little fox there. And then in the main pocket, I have tons of paper clips and binder clips of different sizes and shapes there. Oh, also a little pen holder that I made with elastic. Also, when I'm working with my traveler's notebook, this comes in handy because they don't always lie flat. So if I need to weigh down either the left or right side, I could use this to clip onto it and it'll kind of make things lay flat for me. I have a lot of these, but I'm just keeping one on my little, you know, on the go bag here. And I also have this little baggie, with just like a couple little TN charms and an extra bookmark there. So that's what goes in there. In the bottom, I put this together when I went on my trip to see my mom. Um, so it just has some random goodies in it. I have my stencil from Jaden's Apple, and in this side I have a jeweled J. It's my initial from Hobby Lobby. I have this, which is extra die cuts. These were freebies from Facebook groups, so they most all of them have my name on it. Um, that was by Kina Prince. Oh, this is actually my custom monkey from Planner Monkey Co. This was on the Facebook group of Once More With Love, and then this was Fox and Pip, and then this is Love Cynthia. So I keep that just in here, just to have some extras. And then I have some stickers. Kina Prince, Harry Potter there, Van Sticky, this is the Chloe holding the bow paper clips, 
grin and bear it little unicorn bear there I have some to-do dots from KPL plans on two dollar Tuesday I have sparkly paper coats little unicorn and then in this little envelope I have all of my monthly view calendars I can't believe we're almost done with the year but I've held on to all my past months because I'm hoping I could find a way to you know reuse them because they're just so cute and that was everything in the folder this is a little folder that I made for my pocket TN just pulled it out and um, last but not least is just one of the little packs of the Target dollar spot adhesive pockets because Sometimes I just feel like adding another pocket in my TN for adding goodies. And that was everything that's in my planner pouch, my planner essentials. I'm going to move everything off to the side and I want to show you a couple other bags real quick. Okay, I wanted to show you guys a couple different options for bags. I actually emptied these out so that I could show you them empty. I got all of these bags from Target. They are cosmetic bags, but you could get cosmetic bags that are from actual makeup shops or just anywhere that sells them. I just wanted to show you different sizes and ones that I am actually using for other planner supplies. Here is one that I was using to house my basics and then I moved into that one which was just a little bit larger. I just wanted to hold a little bit more all together but um, this is by Ashley Mary from Target. It's just a little bit smaller but I mean you'll be surprised it can hold so much in these two little compartments here with pins and your correction tape and washi and so little small cosmetic bag there. Here's one that I got just this summer from Target. Now here's a little quick recommendation uh, because I'm going, I mean I'm in October so I'm heading into fall. Um, it's very rainy outside and I obviously picked this up during the summer so the hot <laughs> pink uh, pineapples I was definitely feeling it but now I am not so I would recommend if you're going to invest in any bag to go with a pattern that you'll be okay with anytime during the year okay so just a little tip from me but it is a really great bag so it has just these two zippers and and they have multiple compartments here. So we have a large section here, this middle section, which is awesome, a zipper on each end, and then another big section with a little mesh. So another really cool cosmetic bag. And then this one is my largest. Um, I love, love the print on this one. Uh, it's also Ashley Mary. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, just in case you want to look for these, this is by, um, by Contents. Okay, Contents, and this is Ashley Mary. So this also has just one main compartment, but it is gusseted, so it opens nice and large. You could actually fit, like, your Erin Condren and Happy Planner and a bunch of a bunch of things in here. Plus it has little compartments like a zipper pouch that'd be great to hold pins and goodies over here. We also have these two little slots to put good stuff in it too. So you can fill these up with a lot of good stuff. And I love the pretty little detail gold zippers. Now another bag you may want to keep your eyes out for if you have a TJ Maxx Here's a bag that I love. It also works great for basic planner supplies. It is the Kipling 100 pen case. Now I am actually now currently using it as a pen case since I am using the Orla Kylie as my basic. Um, this is one that I got from TJ Maxx, so totally discounted, but Kipling does have a website. I love this bag. Um, so cute. Look at the little <laughs> uh, keychain it comes with. Mine is the Macaron Pink, and you get this little gorilla, little monkey. It even has a name, Isabella or something. So cute, so cute. Anyways, so it zips around, and you get all of these little pin holder slot. So I'm a newbie to handwriting so I've started a collection of pins. So in here I have you know kind of my my microns and my Secura um, just different calligraphy type pins. 
Faber-Castell, Tombows, and then in here I have just my fun Tombow dual brush pins in um, brights and pastels. Those are the two sets that I have as of now. I did buy the black and this gray separately um, on a website. And then I have the rest of my mild liners. And then I also have these Windsor and Newton uh, watercolor markers. They are dual tipped as well. So I'm also trying to learn how to like blend and work with you know watercolors so I don't I have not counted I do not know if it holds a whole 100 pins but I do know it's pretty stuffed right now but this would be great if you just wanted to keep your pins here and just put like your washi tape and your correction tape and scissors fit great in this bag as well so if you have a TJ Maxx check it out or you could even just go to kipling.com so those are all the bags that I had to talk about today for planning and I hope you enjoyed it and found it maybe a little bit fun or helpful and hit the subscribe button before you go so that I can see you next time. Until then, happy planning guys. Bye bye.